Music was a was an outlet. I picked up piano because uh, my mother played, and uh, I I liked listening and picking up what I heard, what I liked. I used to watch this video of a string quartet play, and I had this toy guitar and a chopstick, and I was used to imitate the cellist playing with the guitar and the chopstick. I would use it as, as the bow. I, I think I couldn't wait for my parents to get me a violin, so. Before they could rent me a violin, they like got me a cardboard violin that I could start pretending that I was playing. I, I picked piano and percussions as an instrument, then I went to piano auditions, but they told me I have a lazy eye on my left hand, so they told me, oh, this guy cannot read two parts. He cannot be a pianist. Then they pushed me to the percussion. It was a weird for sure. I, I read this full score, right, up to 50 instruments. I went to a music school on Saturdays. I took private lessons, I played an orchestra, and the cello ensemble. So they were long Saturdays, but I'm glad that I kept it, I kept with the cello and kept doing it because it's something that I really enjoy. I practiced a lot. My mother was not pushy, but it was kind of like, if you're gonna do it, you should do it well. And I agree with that. I really appreciate the fact that my mother pushed me to practice very hard every day when I was young. Personally, I have this classical music background and I adore classical music. But sometimes people think that classical music is really advanced and intense. It's really hard to understand for them. I've met people at college that, you know, I, I don't know, if we're having a conversation, what kind of music do you listen to? You listen to classical? Oh no, I don't listen to classical, I don't like it. And I'm like, have you even heard it before? And then a lot of times they start listening to it and they're like, oh, actually, this is really cool. In classical voices, we do both things like really advanced arrangements with really colorful instrumentations and really basic music with the, like the original pure melody. It's a good crossover and people can understand both genres. Shortly after I began Classical Oasis, I realized that people were drawn as much to the music as they were to the fact that it was performed by local students. We would call on three or four musicians each weekend, depending on who's available. And we would offer this platform to perform and to obviously support themselves through the albums. First of all, it's a great vibe, great ensemble, and great people, so it's a great collaboration. It creates an opportunity for students and also helps to educate people that might not have realized that they liked classical music. I really like the fact that they combined multiple genres in one, especially, you know, with classical, pop, and rock. I think that's just, it's just a really cool sound, and it's just a, it's just an epic thing. You know, at least for me, music is, um, it's expression without words. Classical voice is providing an outlet. It's, it's a way to channel energy expression through music. It's our own expression to music industry. It's real music. And we do real thing in this current time. And I believe we try to create the real music. Our music has an emotional connection to our listener. No doubt about that. I remember once when I was in an orchestra rehearsal. Um, 
when Benjamin Zander said that if classical music has ever impacted you in a positive way, then you should try to pass it on to someone.